Let's suppose that you're lifting a heavy object such as a crate. And if the work if you'd like to know the work that you must do in order to lift that object up off the ground by a distance d, then and we suppose that the object is being uh, moved at constant speed, how would we compute the work that you must do? If I haven't told you what your force is, then this is a little bit challenging because the work that you do is defined as the force that you exert dotted into the displacement vector d. But what if you don't know the force that you exerted? In this case, if we're told that the speed is constant, in other words, we have not changed kinetic energy, or V final equals V initial, we can use the work energy theorem to help us. Zero is the change in kinetic energy, and that will also equal the, the net work done. And the net work done on the box is defined as the net force dotted into the displacement. The net force is your force plus the vector of the force of gravity. And since the sum of those two dotted into displacement has to be zero, in other words, the work is zero, then we know that the work done by you is the negative of the work done by gravity, or the negative of the force of gravity dotted into displacement. And this is something that we can compute, because the force of gravity is just mg. The distance d is whatever uh, distance off the ground. And the direction between the angle between them is 180 degrees because the force of gravity is pointing straight down, the displacement is pointing straight up. And so when we take the dot product f dot d, it's the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the distance displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. Notice there's still a minus sign out here because we were saying that the work done by you is the negative of the work done by gravity. So there's still a minus sign right there. And now when we compute what is the cosine of 180 degrees, there's going to be another factor of minus 1. And then we find that the work done by you is positive. That makes sense because you're trying to accelerate the object in the direction that it's moving. And therefore, the work done by you is plus mass of the crate times g times d. Of course, gravity is trying to decelerate the object or slow it down in that direction and actually turn it around, so it's doing a negative work. What if instead we were lowering the box from a distance d off the ground down to the floor? What work would you be doing in this case? Well, again, you would have to say the work you do is the force that you exert dotted into the displacement vector. Has the direction of the force that you're exerting changed? Well, no, it's still pointing upward. But what about the displacement vector? Well, it, initially the box was up in the air, and now it's down to the ground. Therefore, the displacement vector points straight down. And therefore, when we think about the work done, it would be the same magnitude of work, m times g times d, but it must be a negative number. It must be the opposite sign as what it was when we were lifting the box off the ground, because now the relative angle between the force that you exert and the displacement vector is, is, is not 180 degrees. They're the same direction. So your displacement vector is still pointing down, but the force points up. The work switch is signed to be negative. In this case, the work done by gravity is positive because gravity is trying to accelerate the box in the downward direction or in the direction of the displacement vector. So it's trying to speed the box up.